Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from JazzleDazzleCrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I work in Scotland. Um, today I've been playing with some scraps of pressed petal and I was I die cut some squares and then I'm just so that I had so that the scraps just were usable. So today I'm going to let you watch me play about to make a card. I've got bits and pieces that I think will all go together. So we've got Merry Merlot ink. I've cut a square at Mossy Meadow card base and I've cut a square of um, one of the designer series paper in the... It's, it's got this one on the back and the hessian on there. It's from the, pre, from the pressed petals. Is it? Oh gosh. Every time I think I know what I'm telling you. It all goes up my head. What's this? designer series paper called. Are you all screaming it at me? I had it all to hand and then by the time I switched the video on let's get it here. Pressed Petal Speciality Designer Series Paper. Absolutely gorgeous paper and it has this beautiful washi tape that goes with it so I'm going to have a plate here. So what I've already done is, oh, ouch, I've just banged my toe. <laughs> Ow. Right. Because I'm crafting in my pyjamas here and my bare feet. How ridiculous. But hey, so I've used the, on the stitched, here we go. Words are not coming today. Stitch shape framelits die. So you've got circles, ovals, and squares and there's four of each and they all um, nest in each other so I'm using the third largest or second smallest whichever way you want to look at that of these ones I decided because I had a bit play around and realised that um, I could get nine squares on a square card now I've cut my card base so that it measures 14.5 centimeters and this hessian mat is 14.1 square centimeters so I'm just going to pop a wee bit of glue on isn't that beautiful I'll have to do another card with these gorgeous ferns absolutely beautiful and just putting a few dots of our multi-purpose liquid glue on here not a lot just a little bit I'm using this because I've now run out of snail. Quite often put cards together with snail on video because it's quick and it dry. It's instantly dry. But then again, using wet glue, you've got a better chance to line things up. So I've just got these, which I've not really got a clue what I'm going to do. birthday on that one I think and I'm gonna put a flower on that one so Ooh, dear me. how are we going to do this so kind of gonna do it a bit like that it's going to take a bit of time to try and line them up. It's not going to be perfect, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a washi tape flower for that one. And I'm going to put happy birthday on this one. So I'll just quick I'll keep that for my wee flower, that wee circle I've cut out with my half inch punch. So I have them, I'm using the happy birthday sentiment from the Magnolia Blooms set. This is a fabulous set. It's really, really aimed at new stampers. Um, it's got a gorgeous happy birthday 
um, sentiment here so I'm going to use that and I'm going to use it with the Merry Merlot ink because that colour goes well. There's Merry Merlot in the paper so it all matches. So, I'm just going to quickly Just a happy birthday over the script on this paper. And that's just be fine there. Pop the ink, and it's the only time I'm probably going to use the ink, so just pop that out of the way. Oh, the stamp can get cleaned later. Oh, now, I think I'll try and get these on first. So I've kind of them lined up here. It's not going to be perfect when it's done but it should be okay. So I'm going to, uh, um, I don't know whether to put the flower in the middle or there. So I might not stick those two down till I've decided. So I'll just get some dots. one to the same so I'll get along the bottom row and then just have to it's a bit fittery doing something like this I'm going to stick that down properly because I just want to get these two just so that it kind of looks evenly spaced and to see if the line looks more or less straight on the bottom that's not too bad at all. That's that bit. So then I'll turn it this way and try and get these three looking okay. So, now yeah, this one. I'm just putting some glue on both of them at the same time. And so what we want in that one didn't do so well. But that's just slipping a wee bit right. I'm just using eyesight in it, it should be okay. So then This one, and do you know what? I'm just going to put, we'll just put the flower up here while we put it in the middle. Can you decide for me? I thought this one can get glued down though, because we know where that's going, because it has to line up with. to line up with that one. So let's put the oh, I'm just gonna put the middle one down. And the flower will go up here. I'm sure it'll be fine whatever. But again, you know you can mess about you just want them to look okay with each other. Then this one and this one. So that one's going that way up. Put the glue there and this one's going that way so we'll just look at it's just a, an easy way to use up some scraps. So that one 
approximately about there. We'll see how this up a bit, and then that one's about there. That's not too bad, is it? looks quite good I'm quite happy with that just take your time about lining yours up and then I'm just going to simply make a flower now I do have another video where I have shown you how to make the flowers with these beautiful petals that come with the on the washi tape with this this sweet the pressed petals sweet so I've, I've got a wee circle here just to help me to land my petals and just take them off one at a time I'm going to lay this one on here and I'm using the back of this so that it doesn't be sticky on the back because I would like the petals to, to curl so then I get another one I'm just taking it from this base because if I get this messed up it's okay because I'm going to cover this I think with with a centre, uh, probably one of the faceted gems I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm using six petals so kind of get three of them. Oh look they're curling that's great. So it gives it a, you know the flower a real texture third petal again just stick them kind of like that and then the other ones will go a bit in between so definitely make sure you use if you don't have one of these embossing buddies do you know some talcum powder or something like that takes the stick and just lets it do its own natural curl then and it just makes it a bit more 3d for your card now I'm just going to hold my finger over the tip so that it won't get powdery and then stick this one in between. So I don't want the petals to stick to each other but I do want them to stick to the middle. So again, too much of that powder on my hands. Petal off. Leaving some sticky on the tip, but I don't know what the word for unsticky, de sticky. <laughs> it's just a word. But take the stickiness off your petals so that they will independently roll. And the last one, if I can get it off. See, as you pull them off, they are curling so. encourage them to curl that way rather than right over but we'll, we'll go with what it decides itself and that will just be gluing on here so we'll just use a bit of wet glue using the little circle just gives you a base you can do, actually make these flowers without a little circle base. I just think it makes it just all a wee bit easier. And I'm just putting this approximately in the middle here. And then I'm just going to take a gem. Bear with me till I find. I've got some. I'm sure I've got some gold. Yep. And I think a gold one in here will look great. There you go, a simple enough card using up some scraps. I don't know if it maybe needs something there but I'm not sure. But I'm just going to leave it like that and that's not complicated I think. It's a nice easy card saying happy birthday. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know what you think. The paper, 
you don't need to look because the paper is absolutely gorgeous. I like that. I think I'm quite happy with that and the beautiful stitched edge here. So thank you for watching. Um, please hit subscribe and please hit the bell icon so you get notified when there's more videos coming out. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.